Hey, and welcome back to my channel. Today I tried to make something a little bit different and more cheerful because it's summer right now and we are going to talk about idioms. So I will walk you through five different idioms that will enhance your language. Um, but first, an idiom is really something that makes us different from foreigners and that brings us a little bit closer to native speakers because idioms make our language richer. They fill our language like flowers fill the garden, if you use them appropriately, of course. But beware, if you overuse them, they might turn into weeds and contaminate your garden or your language, metaphorically. So make sure you're using them correctly and today I'm going to equip you with five more cool idioms that you can use on your writing or in your speech. The first one is to spread too thin. And here we use this one when talking about a person who has too much in their plate, who has too much going on, a lot of work and is a bit overwhelmed. One of the examples here might be, I realized that I had been spreading myself too thin, so I resigned as a school teacher and focused only on tutoring. Here we use a little bit more complex grammar, which is past perfect continuous. Or another one, I found myself spreading too thin when my mom scolded me for working through the weekend. Here we not only use the idiom to spread too thin, but also we use the phrase to find oneself or even to work through. And the next idiom is to bite the bullet. And for this one, it just means to force yourself to work on a project or on a task that is quite difficult and challenging and requires a lot of energy to complete. An example here might be, I'd been biting the bullet for over a year now and the project seemed just infinite. Or, okay, I'll bite the bullet for you, but remember I do not approve of this doubtful activity. Here, by the way, we base the sentence on the mix of present and future tenses. The next idiom is to come up short, and this means to make an effort that is not enough to achieve the result. For example, my colleague has just come up short on preparing his presentation, so he was not invited to continue the work here. Or his sister always comes up short on finals, this time she lacked only 10 points to graduate with honors. It's a pity, isn't it? The next idiom is to open a can of worms, and this one means to cause even more problems when trying to solve at least one of them. For example, I don't want to engage with this supplier, I feel like we'll open a can of worms with him. Or, they told us they'd open a can of worms with this gang, I wouldn't mess up with them. And the last one is to take something in stride, which means to tackle a problem in a calm and very confident manner. For example, when you become famous, you learn how to take criticism in your stride. And here we might substitute you with one when talking about an uncertain individual or an unspecified one. For example, we can say, when one becomes famous, they will learn how to take criticism in their stride. And after one we use they just because we haven't specified what gender of a person we are talking about. And at last, he was the first one to take this issue in stride and addressed it with his team without any hustle. Great! You're now equipped with five cool idioms to refresh your language and make it interesting to talk to you. Now stick here if you want to receive more of such short infusions of useful content. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I will be very happy if you decide to leave a like for me or even subscribe. And as always, I will be delighted to see you again here. Ciao!